We start with a Fox 23 investigation. We are hearing from Tulsa Public Schools after reports claim a professional development program has financial ties to the Chinese Communist Party. The program called Confucius Classrooms is a program a Chinese language teacher at Booker T. Washington High School attended in Texas. Fox 23's Tanya Mudrzitsky is live in studio breaking down all of this controversy. Tanya. Shay and Sarah, the language program at Booker T. Washington High School was approved last year. But contrary to what's been in national headlines recently, TPS Superintendent Dr. Deborah Giss says there's nothing to worry about. According to this letter sent to the U.S. Department of Education from Congressman Jim Banks of Indiana, he shares his concern about Confucius schools being a pro-Chinese communist propaganda resource within American schools. It says about a recent report published this week by Parents Defending Education, which describes millions of dollars flowing from the People's Republic of China into America's K-12 schools. The letter calls on the Department of Education to do an audit to look into foreign funding. A year ago, the TPS school board approved Confucius classroom training with a program out of Texas. Fox 23 interviewed TPS superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist about the Chinese language program at Booker T. Washington High School. I have no concerns about our teacher, one teacher, who has uh, valued the professional development that she's received from this organization in, uh, out of Texas and she has found it very helpful for her in terms of the um, her she teaches a Chinese language at um, at one of our uh, award-winning high schools and I'm not concerned about that and I think that you know we, we have to stay focused we have to be aware and and you know we can't be oblivious the district says the teachers salary and resources were paid by TPS it goes on to say students benefiting from our teachers supplementary professional development within the International Leadership of Texas have achieved high honors in the past year, including placing in the Oklahoma Chinese Speech Competition and the National Chinese Speech Contest. TPS school board member Elena Ashley was the only board member at the time to express concern. She was the only board member as well to vote against it. Live in studio, Tanya Motorzitsky, Fox 23 News. And Tanya, has there been any other action by Congress regarding this Confucius Institute? Well, Shay, in 2020, lawmakers, including Senator James Langford, introduced Transparency of Confucius Institutes Act, which would have made sure those institutes register as a foreign mission in an effort to push back against the communist influence, but that did not pass. Again, in studio, Shay.